Hi, this is Wallace from Epic Games and welcome to the second video about the reporting system. In this video, we're going to go through some more advanced examples, starting off with how to load your variables into a Python script, then into a batch script. And finally, we're going to build a PLY point cloud exporter. I'll start by giving you a quick overview of what the Python script will do. First, we will send an align command to Reality Capture. You will need to have an instance of Reality Capture open with some images in the project. This first step is nothing new and exactly how you are probably used to using CLI. When the alignment is finished, our script will then send a command to Reality Capture to write a report with some specific details about the alignment. We want to know two things, how many inputs are in the project and how many images aligned in the largest component. Once these two variables are in the report, we can read them into Python as variables. Now we use Python to calculate the percentage of cameras that are aligned. Based on this information, we can use an if condition to decide whether we should send reality capture meshing and texturing commands. This is a very simple example of what is possible using the reporting system in Python, but with these building blocks and the huge amount of variables and exports available, the possibilities are fairly limitless. Here is the Python script and I'm going to run through it in not a massive amount of detail. If you want uh, these snippets, then you can find a link to the EDC article in the description below. To start with, we import our modules. Uh, then we define a dictionary globally. Uh, then we set the path to reality capture here as a variable. And we have this command list here for waiting till it's completed using delegation commands. Then we have our first function. Uh, this one is called update RC vars, vars, as in update the variables. And if you watch part one, you'll know what's going on here. We use our template and then we output to a TXT file. Uh, here, um, we have, we're sending the command to export the report to reality capture, um, then running that. And finally here, we are building our dictionary up with keys and values. Now what happens is it looks for an equal sign and it knows that everything on the left of the equal sign is a key and everything on the right is a value. Um, and we get those from the output script Okay, let's have a look at our template. Um, here we are. You can see, just load up these function sets here. And we, we just have image count, component count, and component camera count. And here is the resulting report. Um, the last time it was run, it was 92 and 90. So everything aligned. Component camera count is how many cameras aligned in the component. Image count is just how many images in the project. So let's go down and have a look at the next cell here. This is a Jupyter notebook, but you can just load these up into a single PY. And we have definition center RC. Now this actually has nothing to do with the reporting system. It's just a simple way to send commands to reality capture. So you can just, just put the commands in as arguments. Um, in, in this using this function here, send to RC. Then we use our function update variables um, and print the component component camera count. Um, by the way, we're sending this alignment here because if we try and update the variables before we've aligned, um, we're gonna get an error uh, because there is no option to have the amount of cameras aligned in the component because there is no component. And we just print that, um, but this is a string. And you can see here when we make another variable, um, which is the ratio of cameras which are aligned. So we've got the amount of cameras aligned here and the amount of images here um, divided by the other. But look, we convert it to an integer. So watch out for that. Everything stored in your dictionary is going to be stored as a string. So depending on what you're using your variables, what, what, sorry, depending on what your variables are, you might want to convert them to integers or floats. Um, we're going to print the aligned ratio here with this cell. And finally, this is what it's all about. If 
um, 90 percent of the cameras um, are aligned then we will mesh um, and if not we'll just print this so uh, let's run the script let's go to run run all cells and you can see now that because 90 percent of the cameras or more aligned it started to reconstruct so we can abort that we've proved that the script works Okay, that's cancelled. So uh, we can make a new project here. No, let's not save that. And now let's try and set up a situation where we won't get all, nine, all of the cameras aligning. We'll try and get like half of them aligning. So let's just take these images of the top and let's go down and find some images of the bottom. Oh. There we go. We've got roughly the same of, of, of each and hopefully they won't align with each other. Don't normally find me saying that, but <laughs> let's run the script one more time. And all cells should run a little faster this time. There it's aligning. And there you go. You can see that we only got 53% of the cameras aligned. And so rather than meshing, it has told us too few cameras are aligned to proceed. Right, let's move on to batch files. First of all, uh, we are setting a variable with a path to reality capture. Then we use that path and use delegation again and align and select the largest component. Whilst that's happening, we're going to align. We're going to say we're aligning. Then wait till that's finished, and then we're going to call this other uh, batch file, which I'll just show you. And this batch file just does the same as before. It exports a report and then uses that report, calls that report there, which sets the variables. Let's have a look at our template here. And you can see it's very similar to the Python one, except we have the batch way of setting a variable set slash a, meaning it's going to be a number and image count, component count and co component camera count, how many cameras aligned. And our result is here. So similar to before, but batch will accept these variables here. Okay, let's go back to the batch file. So after those variables have updated, we echo that they've updated. And then we're setting another variable, which is going to be a number. Uh, but because batch um, only deals in whole integers and not fractions, uh, we multiply the first number by 100. Um, so we have an actual percentage, not a um, 0.90 or whatever. Uh, then we're going to echo uh, the percent of images that are aligned and if same condition as before if more than 90 percent of the images are aligned uh, it'll say the model will be meshed and run these meshing commands here and if not it'll say there's not enough okay so let's just uh, run that script i'll just gr drag it over here and let's run it so double click on that uh, drag this window across so you can see what's going on and there we go it is aligning and there we go variables updated 100% of images aligned the model will be meshed and it's starting to mesh so let's uh, abort that yes okay and we can press any key to make it run through okay so let's have a look at the other scenario where not enough cameras align, let's make a new uh, project. Okay, hopefully we won't get more than 50% aligned there. Uh, and let's run the script again. Just drag it across and see what's going on. Exporting report. Oh, there we go. So 50% of the images are aligned. Great. Not enough images are aligned to mesh. Okay, that's great. So now let's get on with making a PLY point cloud exporter. Here's the final example. And as a basis for this, we're going to use the alignment point cloud export, which I'll just show you. We have a PLY option here. I'm going to save over this log PLY I made earlier. Yes. And in this example, we're going to use ASCII so we can actually see and read what's going on. But binary is an option in the reporting system, so you could make a binary version. 
Uh, let's just click OK there. <clears throat> and now let's have a look at that log file there. So we go to log.ply, let's reload it. And you can see in the header here, we can just copy almost everything um, here in the header, um, except right here, we actually need the vertex count for the model. And um, below here, we actually have every vertex. But the good thing about PLY is it actually tells you exactly what is here and in what format it is. So we have property float X, which means it's the X value and in the format of a float. And below we have the RGB values, which can be seen here. And it says UCAR, which is unsigned character, which is just a byte, as you can see right here. So we have float, 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 byte, byte, byte. So let's have a look at our template. Uh, here's the template right here, and you can see the header's almost identical, except we need that vertex count. Um, so I just used um, this line to load in all of our function sets that um, we need later as well. And finally, we have the export models one, and we see you can see we have a condition here, only if the model's named for PLY, we'll use that later, uh, then we're going to get the vertex count there. Okay, and right down here, here we have the uh, iterator for the vertices. So uh, again, if the model's called PLY, um, oh, that's the iterator for the model. So it's only going to do the model if it's called PLY. And then we have a vertices iterator. Now, uh, I have to warn you that your model has to be a singleton. This won't work if your model is split into parts. And here we have the uh, X, Y, and Z. And then it tells you the format afterwards. F is for float and the RGB and C is for byte. And then at the end, we have a new line. So let's see how we use this in Reality Capture. I'll just maximize here. And first of all, we duplicate the model. Then we're going to rename it for PLY. Uh, then we're going to export the report. Uh, that's going to be the output there. And that TPL file that we just looked at will be the template. Then we're going to delete the model. Okay, let's save that as a button. Uh, let's call it, uh, we'll call it point cloud from dense mesh model because it's not from the alignment. It's a bit of a long name, but never mind. And that should be in our workflow tab now. So let's try it out. There you go, duplicate exporting the report. And the report is our point cloud. So um, I actually made it earlier and I've opened it up in Cloud Compare. And you can see there we have a point cloud. So I hope that's shed some light on the reporting system for you. Um, if you have any other ideas for videos, pop them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.